No one likes bad weather. Mika hated it. It made him dance with rage. It drove Slash to visiting women of ill repute. And even gospel choirs have to try and convince themselves that it is a good thing. Here's their classic, It's Raining Lord. But enough of that. This week's top 10 is the top 10 games to be played when the weather is bad. This could be snow, wind, rain or hurricane. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you can play them on PC in some form or another and that they take your mind away from the horrendous weather outside. I'm Jimmy Ward and this is the top 10 games to play when the weather is bad. At number 10 I've gone for L.A. Noir. Everyone's mum likes to watch crime dramas when it's raining, right? Well, what could be better than being the detective solving those crimes? Oh yes, L.A. Noir is a fantastic rainy day game. It's bleak, it's dark, it's captivating. It's like playing a television series and it's a fantastic rainy day time sink. After much thought, I decided on Myers Martyr at number 9 on this list. This is a slower paced game and so it's actually kind of perfect for when the weather turns bad. You explore this island and find ingredients, but it's the immersive feeling that means that hours can fly by without you realising. Plus, it's also usually very very sunny, so that can take your mind off the rain outside. If you're interested in this video, check out my Jimmy Tries Myers Marta video in the description. Crusader Kings is at number 8. This is most definitely a rainy day game. It's confusing, deep and detailed, and you need hours to work out what's going on. To be honest, after about 3 hours of playing, I still haven't. So you need a lot of patience, but the dramas and the stories that unfold for this game are what make it such a fantastic game to play when you're stuck indoors. At number 7 it's Minecraft! Yay, I love this game. There is something so relaxing about just wandering about and getting creative. You can lose yourself in this world like very few others, which is why I have to put it at number 7. And of course, when that soundtrack kicks in, you practically have to have rain pitter-pattering against your window. Love this game. At number 6 in the list of games to play in bad weather is XCOM. It's similar to Crusader Kings in that you need a fair amount of patience to play this game. Every decision counts. I mean, my brother has been shot so many times when I play this because I tend to rush it. Therefore, when the hail is belting down outside, it is perfect to play this game carefully and cautiously. Because particularly when it's bad weather, you have got the time. Baby, it's cold outside. What are you going to do? Huddle around a real fire? How about something better? a beautifully computerised crackling death machine that you can burn practically anything in. Want to burn toy cats that crap everywhere? Opera singers? Even a moon? Yes, you do. And you can. You feel warmer just by watching it all burn. A little bit of a pyromaniac too, but that's okay. Little Inferno is number 5 on the top 10 games to play when the weather is bad. Number 4, Skyrim. It should be lore that when it snows you have to play this game. As you wander through the frozen landscape you can lose yourself in this world and forget that the real snow outside is actually turned to slush and is basically pretty crap. The size and the depth of this world and the things that you can discover mean that just exploring is fantastic and when the weather is bad this game makes everything better. In fact you can even open your window while playing and let the snow make you feel more immersed in the game world. Be careful though, you may actually start speaking like a Swedish chef if you play this for too long. Hurdy gurdy. At 
Okay, we're into the top three now, and I've chosen Football Manager as my number three pick. Again, this is a game that requires time and patience to do well at it. It is surprisingly difficult. Just ask my bottom of the league team, Harrogate Town. Actually, don't, because they hate me. Anyway, Football Manager is one of the most perfect games to play when the weather is bad, as you can play without distractions, but can completely immerse yourself in your management role. I sometimes even wear a suit. It is bizarre how attached you can get to players that are essentially just numbers and stats. Foot Manager is number three. This game makes me happy. At number two, we have Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life. I used to play this for GameCube, and it actually used to make me feel like I was outside and the sun was hitting my face, the wind was in my hair, and the flowers were tickling my balls. If you're a little bit naughty, there are ways to play this on your PC now as well, but I'm not going to tell you what those are because I am so nice. For me, the thing that makes this a number two game to play when the weather is bad are the memories of playing it on rainy Sundays ten years ago. However, I would suggest that anyone that plays this when it's raining will find themselves getting a warm, fuzzy feeling in their stomach. But only when it's raining. Otherwise, taking those chickens out is a ball ache. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is a fantastic game. You will love it if you haven't played it. And finally, the best game to play when the weather turns bad is... Oh yes, it's Civilization V. Some of you may disagree with this, but that's fine. If you do, put it in the comments. However, I would argue that this is the most addictive thing I have ever played in my life. The time that it needs to be put into it means that it really is the perfect game to play when the weather is bad. The compulsive one more turn myth is actually true, and this game can really take you out of reality and into the head of Gandhi, Queen Victoria, Abraham Lincoln, or in my case, King Jimmy of the Jimmy Tribe, which is all one word. Civilization V's depth and breadth of gameplay make it the perfect game to play when you're stuck indoors. You're guaranteed to be playing for hours at a time. Civilization V is number one in the best games to play when the weather is bad. <laughs>